Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for November the 11th. I am going to be pulling one card for our overall energy of the day. And then after that, I'll pull one card for each sign. And we'll see how those energies meld together for messages for each sign. So let's see what our overall energy or our theme, our collective theme for the day is around. What do we have? Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is one of those good reversals. I like it better in reverse. This talks about the idea of um, either the budget is loosening up. Something's happening with the budget so that maybe something is getting paid off. And so there's more money in the budget or there's a bonus or there's somebody gives us a gift. Could be something like that. Anything that would loosen the budget up a little bit for us. Even maybe a lot sometimes. And then... Uh, the other meaning that this card has when it's in reverse can talk about um, feeling like you're starting to be um, more involved in social circles around you where you might have felt a little bit left out of social circles before. This is getting more involved, being invited into uh, more social circles. All right, so let's look at energy for each sign and see how these play out together okay so another pentacle card for aries four of pentacles holding back this is interesting hmm. you know the first thing that pops into my uh into my mind as i'm looking at these cards tells me aries that you have an invitation to something social, but you're kind of holding back from it. You're really hesitant. You're not sure that you want to be involved in whatever this invitation might be, whether it's an invitation to go hang with uh, your colleagues after work or whether it's an invitation from your old party and buddies. And, you know, you're not so sure. You're just not so sure that whatever this invitation is, you're just not so sure that you really want to be involved in it so you may say yes if you do say yes i think you're you're kind of going in with boundaries for yourself you're only going to do so much you're only going to stay so long whatever that might be the other thing is that um this could be coming in in such a way that you are getting some kind of relief for your budget with that overall energy excuse me and you're deciding that you're going to hold back with that you're going to stash that away for the future because now if you've got a little bit of relief but you've been um you've been functioning at maybe like the skeleton level of income then this is this is you saying you know i just want to make sure that everything is going to be okay going forward i just want to have a little bit of a of a cushion or a stash back here so you could be holding back and and sort of starting a stash or adding to a little bit of a stash that you have whenever that relief comes in Either way, Bum, ba, da, da. and I do think that we're going to have both versions of manifestations showing up for Aries. I'm feeling like we've got about a 50-50 mix. So some of you, this will be about money. Some of you, this will be about social um, invitations. Others of you, this could be both. This could very easily be both for a lot of you guys. All right, let's look at Taurus. Ooh, another Pentacles card. I wonder if these are all going to be Pentacles today. Ten of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So what is happening here? Taurus, I'm going to say that you are um, having your budget loosen up with that overall energy. And what's going on here is that you're using that extra breathing room to help you upgrade your level of security and stability, especially when it comes to things having to do with money or finances. Next up, we're looking at Gemini. Okay, so Gemini is coming up with the Page of Cups. So we've broken our Pentacles streak now. <laughs> Page of Cups coming up with Pentacles. So this is telling me that we've got something social going on in your worlds, Geminis. With that Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups, this is that you are receiving some type of invitation to do something um with other people or with another person somebody is saying hey i would love to have you along or hey i would love it if you could come out with us or hey i would love it if you could come over and see the new baby or whatever some type of invitation 
here to do something with other people is what we have showing up and it blends very well with that overall energy with that page of pentacles being um, more involved in social things than what you have where you might have felt like you were sort of sitting on the sidelines before okay for that interpretation of that card and if you want the full interpretation of that card you want to scroll back to the beginning of the video of course um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. so who was that that was Gemini now we're looking at cancer so cancer with the ten of rods what do we have five of Pentacles in reverse with the ten of rods cancers if some of you are looking for a job you could be starting a job today and I don't mean that you're getting an offer for an interview. I mean, you could be starting a job today or you could be getting um, news about you could be agreeing to start a job on a certain day. So you're either starting a job or agreeing to start a job today with that five of pentacles in reverse. Of course, that overall energy, uh, Five of Pentacles in reverse, talks about having an ease in finances, but it also talks about the uh, sometimes having an ease in social situations where we're around people again, where maybe we felt left out before. So I think if you're starting a job or making plans to start a job, then that is that's actually touching on both of those because you're probably going to be interacting with people if you start the job. And... Um, it's going to be a way of earning money. So it talks about easing both your social situation, your being around people more, and also easing that financial situation with bringing in income. So we like it. Good for you, Cancers. All right. Next up, we're going to look at Leo's. Okay, so Leo's, you guys have the hanged man showing up here in reverse. I like the hanged man. He looks like he's dancing a jig. So, Leo's, this is telling me that whatever's happening here with the uh, overall energy, whether it is, um, and if you want the full uh, talk about what the overall energy is, go back to the beginning of the video. But if this overall energy has to do with social stuff, this talks about the idea that you've been waiting, um, you've been kind of waiting for social situations to loosen up and to be included more in social situations for a while. And now that's happening today. Um, and if this is about um, that you've been waiting, kind of doing things to um, bring in some breathing space into your budget, this talks about where you've been waiting for that breathing space to show up. Now that breathing space is here. Some of you are going to get both of those. Some of you are going to get one or the other of those. But that's your energy for today. It's an end of waiting one way or the other. Now we're looking at Virgo. King of Rods showing up in reverse. Hmm. What's happening here? This is really interesting, Virgos, because it looks to me like the overall energy of the card is kicking in. And if you want to hear about the two versions of overall energy this card can carry, you want to go back to the beginning of the video. But um, I think with this King of Rods, whichever way this is kicking in, I don't think you're very happy about it, okay? So you could be, um, whether you're being invited into um, a social situation or whether um, you have an opportunity to loosen up your budget, either way, I don't think you're very happy about it. So maybe this opportunity to loosen up your budget is, is tainted money some way or dirty money some way. Maybe you don't like the, the way that you would have to go about creating that breathing space in your budget. And same thing with, you know, the social circle opening up a little bit. This may not be the type of people that you really want to hang out with or that you want to spend time with. You may be getting an invitation from some people that you're like, yeah, I just, uh, and maybe not <laughs> that type of situation okay so let's see let's look at libra six of swords showing up for the libran energy <clears throat> this is really interesting 
Okay, so I'm getting a couple different storylines, Libra. So some of you are going to be having it one way, some the other. Maybe some of you will have both. Um, for some of you, you have something going on that is helping to loosen up your financial situation to the point that you can actually move away from something that has been chaotic or corrosive and just toxic and dragging you down. All right. Others of you have an invitation into a social type of setting or a social situation, uh, a situation with another person or with other people. You have some type of invitation towards it. And I think that you are getting away from it as fast as you can. You're basically running from the running for the hills. So I think that this, if it's a social invitation, I think that you're not, you're not seeing that as anything beneficial. You're seeing it as somebody inviting you into a lot of chaos and drama and, and you're not all about it. Okay. If it's a financial situation where you've got more breathing room in your budget, this is actually allowing you to change your own situation to to get away from some chaos or drama so this could be that you know this is a big enough breathing space in your budget that it allows you to get away from budgets or bill collectors etc okay so that's what we have for who that was for libra next we're looking at scorpios scorpio scorpio Okay, so two of pentacles coming up in reverse with the five of pentacles and the overall in reverse. If you want to hear the full meaning of five of pentacles in reverse, you want to go back to the beginning of the video and listen to that. But two of pentacles in reverse just means that there are things that are falling through the cracks here. Okay, so this really tells me that if you have some kind of opportunity coming forward that is financial, you want to handle this with a calm, grounded mind. You want to kind of think this through. So if there's something going on where your budget is giving you a little bit of breathing room, then that's fantastic. But use that breathing room wisely. Okay, don't say, oh, I got 20 extra dollars. Do you want to go out to eat and go out and spend $50 on a meal that you normally would not spend $50 on? And now you're back $30 further than what you were before. And you just made things tighter rather than enjoyed the ease of that budget. This is the kind of energy that that talks about. This talks about the idea of, okay, you've got something coming in, but now are you going to be careful with it and make good use of it? Or are you going to let it just fritter away? Because in the energy, it shows you letting it fritter away. I'm hoping that if you see this video that, you know, you have free will, you can change that. You can change that energy. You've got the heads up to kind of watch yourself to rein it in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Who was that? That was Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Sagittarius. I have four planets in Scorpio, by the way. I probably needed to hear that. Okay. Sagittarius. Ace of Swords showing up in reverse. Now, this is really interesting because with the Ace of Swords in reverse, this talks about the idea of you passing along good information to other people in your sphere of influence. Overall energy talks about the idea of loosening up the budget or um, becoming more social, coming into more social settings, maybe where you felt like you were sitting on the sidelines before. Okay, so Sagittarius, you could be giving somebody some good advice and they are actually paying you for that good advice. That could be happening. Or you're giving somebody some good advice and then they're um, inviting you to spend more time with them or they're inviting you to uh, come out with a group of their friends or whatever, but it feels to me like this good advice that you're giving to somebody is kind of the key to opening the doors, either socially or financially, or at least opening one door, if nothing else. All right, so now let's look at Capricorn. 
Six of Pentacles for Capricorn. What do we have? What do we have? Okay, so Capricorns, what we have here basically is that we see your budget is getting a little bit of breathing room. And it's getting a little bit of breathing room because somebody is paying you for something that you've done in the past. Either they're paying you for if, if you loan them money, this could be them bringing that money back. Or if you've done some kind of service, this could be them paying you for the service. Excuse me. Whatever this pay is, this is actually um, this is actually giving you a little bit of breathing space in your budget. And if you want to know the full meaning of the overall energy, you want to scroll back to the very beginning of the video to see that. Um, Aquarius, you're up next. Page of Swords showing up in reverse. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. What do we have? Aquarius, you are learning new things. You're finding out new information, digging for information. Being a detective. This is interesting because with that overall energy, I'm feeling like you've got something going on where now you have the time to dig for some information or the opportunity to dig for some information that you did not have before. Okay. And like I said, if you want to see the interpretation of that card, go back to the beginning. But the what I just gave you is the interpretation of both cards read together. Uh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Ace of Cups showing up in reverse along with that Five of Pentacles in reverse. So to find out meanings for the Five of Pentacles, go back to the beginning of the video. Ace of Cups in reverse just means that somebody is showing you their true colors. They are, they are showing you their true selves. They could be expressing how they really feel about you when maybe they would not have expressed that before. Okay. And so this has to do with the idea of seeing their true colors and seeing their true colors actually is helpful to you. It may be helpful to your wallet, to your pocketbook. For others of you, it's going to be helpful to you in recognizing that you're more welcome in a situation with other people or another person than you thought you were. But either way, seeing this person's true colors is going to help you one way or the other. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys very much for being here. I do appreciate it. Do remember you guys are my wonderful sponsors. So don't forget to put a thumbs up on this video and share it with others if you think it's beneficial. And of course, on top of that, then leave your comments, leave your feedback. I'm always interested in hearing that. Everyone have a fantastic day. Peace out.